five people will get skin cancer in their lifetime, including 800 Utahns each year. But a skin cancer diagnosis isn't the end. Here to explain in today's Good Health for Utah is Dr. Tanya Bowles from Intermountain Medical Center. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So 800 Utahns every year will have skin cancer. Who's at risk? All people are at risk for skin cancer. It doesn't discriminate. Re regardless of your <laughs> skin type. So what we like to emphasize to people is to keep an eye on your skin for any changing spot. And we'll talk more about that later. The more fair your skin type is, the more at risk you are. So if you have blue or green colored eyes with fair skin and red or blonde hair, your risk is higher. But it doesn't discriminate. No. So anyone can get skin cancer. Okay, so a lot we've been talking about this for years now, how to protect your skin from the sun. We know the dangers. A lot of people at home probably say, okay, I go out and I put on sunscreen uh, first thing in, in the day. What are they doing wrong that they still are at risk? Well, first I want to applaud the people that are putting it on first thing in the day because a recent study showed that most people are not wearing sunscreen, mm. about 30% of women and less than 15% of men. So the ones we're putting on first thing in the morning are doing a great job, but sunscreen has to be reapplied. It is only meant to work for two hours. Just two hours. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be reapplied every two hours huh. or after you get in the water, swimming, or if you're sweating, doing exercise, you need to reapply it after that. That's kind of a pain. If I'm in the middle of enjoying Lake Powell or doing anything like that outdoors, I don't feel like putting on sunscreen again. It's a habit, and like other healthy habits, we have to adjust our behavior. It's one of those that as you get in the routine of keeping the sunscreen where you're going to use it, you'll get better at the habit of putting it on. Okay, make it a habit, not a hassle. Right. <laughs> so what are you looking for on your body or on your child's mm -hmm. body that will let you know that something's not right? Mm -hmm. Change over time, or what we call an ugly duckling spot on the skin. So a change in a mole, as far as a mole getting darker, getting bigger, starting to protrude off the skin when it used to be flat, or itching or bleeding of any skin spot mm -hmm. can be a sign of skin cancer. So you really want to inspect your kids because they may not be able to, to verbalize that, what's That's going right. on. That's right. And again, we see patients of all age groups, all skin types with skin cancer. So getting to know what your skin looks like and what's new and what's changing is the most important advice. I remember seeing an, um, a study that said the incidence rate of skin cancer among people with darker skin was a little bit higher and they were diagnosed in um, later stages of skin cancer because they're not looking for it. But you mm -hmm. said all skin types, no matter if you tan well and you never burn, can still get skin cancer. That is correct. And what you mentioned about people with darker skin is true. We, our awareness of it isn't as great and sometimes people with darker skin can get melanoma or other skin cancers in parts of their bodies that aren't exposed to the sun as often like the bottoms of their feet or the nail beds. So keeping an eye on your skin overall is important for everybody. Dr. Bowles, thank you so much for joining us. We'll thank put you. some of those tips and that information on our website at goodforutah.com. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Still ahead, the